My name is Ambali Rasak Olabanji. I will be your physics teacher for today's lesson. Topics Electric field, electrical force, and electric potential. Learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, learner must be able to 1. Explain the concept of electrical force, electric field, and electric potential. 2. Derive the formula relating these concepts together in mathematical forms. And theory, analyze simple numerical problems. Force between two charges, Q1 and Q2, obey Coulomb's law of electricity, which states that the electric force between two point charges, Q1 and Q2, separated by distance R, is directly proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the charges. I repeat, Coulomb's law of electricity states that the electric force between two point charges Q1 and Q2, separated by distance R, is directly proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the charges. That is, F is directly proportional to Q1 and Q2 over R square. If you go down the equation, if you go down the equation, F will now be equal to K Q1 Q2 over R square, where K is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. And epsilon naught, which is called permittivity of free space, is equal to 8.85 times 10 raised to negative 12 Coulomb square per Newton per meter square or Faraday's meter. We are k becomes 1 all over 4 pi epsilon naught, which is equal to 9 times 10 raised to power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square. If you go down for that, force will now be equal to q1, q2 all over 4 pi epsilon naught r square. The unit of the force is in newton. The direction of this force is along the line joining the two charges. Electric line of force. Electric line of force is the part which an isolated small positive charge will follow if placed in the field. I repeat. Electric line of force is the part which an isolated small positive charge will follow if placed in the field. Also, electric field E is a region where electric force is experienced by body. It can also be defined as the force per unit charge. It can also be defined as the force per unit charge. That is, E is equal to F over Q. Also, Recall that F is equal to K Q1 Q2 all over R square. And then if Q1 is equal to Q2, and F is the same thing as F will be equal to K Q square over R square. Hence, E, which is F divided by Q, will now be equal to K Q square over R square divided by Q. And therefore, we just, that will give us it will be KQ over R square. This is the same thing as saying Q over 4 pi epsilon naught R square, which is the same thing as saying 9 times 10 raised to power 9Q over R square. We are going to stop here. After the break, we come back and solve small problem. Thank you. Welcome back. Activity 1. Find the force of repulsion between two protons of 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 11 Coulomb each if the distance between them is 5.3 times 10 raised to negative 11 meter. Bracket open. K is equal to 
9.0 times 10 raised to power 9 Newton meter square per coulomb square bracket close. Solution. F is equal to KQ1 Q2 over R square, which will be equal to, which is the same thing as if Q1 is equal to Q2 as stated above. K will not be equal to uh, F will not be equal to KQ square over R square. In that case, we now have 9 times 10 raised to power 9 times bracket open 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 11 bracket close all square divided by 5.3 times 10 raised to negative 11 square um, bracket then you square the whole thing as shown above which will give us the final answer to be 8.20 times 10 raised to times 10 raised to power 8 Newton. Activity 2. Two similar but opposite point charge Q minus Q and plus Q each of magnitude 5 times 10 raised to negative 6 coulomb are separated by a distance of 8.0 cm in vacuum below Calculate E at point P. Let us observe the diagram properly. It will be noted that point P inside the diagram is 5 cm to negative charge and 3 cm to positive charge. Solution. We are to find 2E at 5 cm and then at 3 cm to point P. Now, case 1, E1. E1 will be KQ over R square. That is, that of 5 cm, that of negative charge to P. That will give us 9 times 10 raised to power 9, bracket to power minus 5 times 10 raised to negative 6, bracket close, all over 0 0.05, bracket close square that we've converted the 5 cm to meter. The answer for E1 is minus 80.0 times 10 raised to negative 6 newton per coulomb. It is negative because E at 5 cm to P is negative. Case 2. E2 is equal to KQ over R square, which will be equal to 9 times 10 raised to power 9, bracket open, 5 times 10 to negative 6, bracket close, all over 0 0.03 square. We've converted 3 centimeter to meter. And the E2 will give us 50 times 10 raised to negative 6 newton per coulomb. E resultant, that is ER, will be equal to E1 plus E2, that is minus 18 times 10 raised to negative 6 plus 50 times 10 raised to negative 6. And the, the sorters will give us 32 times 10 to negative 6 newton per coulomb. Thank you. We are going on break. When we come back, we can now treat the electric potential. Welcome back. Electric potential. Electric potential at a point is defined as the work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to the point against the electrical force of the field. I repeat, electric potential is defined as the work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to the point against the electrical force of the field. Also, potential difference. Potential difference VAB between point A and B is the work done in taking a unit positive in taking a unit positive charge from one point to the other in the electric field. I repeat, potential difference VAB between two points A and B is the work done in taking a unit positive charge from one point to the other in the electric field. And then if you go through the equation, one volt is equal to one juice per coulomb, that is W is equal to QV, therefore V, which is the uh, volt, will give you work done over Q, but E, electric field, is V over D, 
where d is the same thing as distance between two points in the electric field. And then we see that from the equation, v is equal to ed, which is the same thing as er. And since our e is known in the above, during our previous lesson, as kq over r square, then if you multiply by e again, that is from er, we are going to obtain v will now give us kq over r, which is our electric potential, which is our electric potential. Mathematically, v will now be given as q all over 4 pi s alum not r, which is the same thing as, say, 9 times 10 to positive 9 times q all over r. From the above, let's solve general question in form of evaluation to know whether we know what we've been what I've been teaching you since. Question a small object carrying a charge of minus five times ten raised to negative nineteen coulomb experiences a downward force of ten newton when placed at a point in an electric field. What is the E at that point? B what would be the magnitude and direction of the force acting on an electron placed at that point. Bracket open. E is equal to 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19 colon. Bracket close. Solution. E will be equal to F over Q. And the F is equal to 10 Newton, where Q is equal to minus 5 times 10 raised to negative 19. If you substitute this value inside E is equal to F over Q, we will obtain 10 all over minus 5 times 10 to negative 19. And the answer will give us minus 2 times 10 to positive 19 Newton per coulomb. Solution for B, part, for an electron place at that point, E electron, that is electronic charge, 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 coulomb. Therefore, F, which is equal to QE, is the same thing as E, that is electric charge, multiplied by electric field, which will give us 1.6 times 10 to negative 19, bracket open, minus 2 times 10 raised to negative positive 19. And then the force, we, the force that will be expressed by the electron is going to give us minus, uh, minus 3.2 Newton. Magnitude of the force is equal to 3.2 Newton. That's what the question asks us. And the direction of the force will be downward. That is moving downward because it expresses a negative force. Now, you go through the assignment, you write it down, and also cross-check the work solution so that you will have, this is a standard wire question as well. That is, the question reads as, the question reads, Determine the force on a proton placed place at a point with an electric field intensity of 1,000 Newton per coulomb. If the proton was at rest, with what velocity will it travel through a distance 3 cm? What is the kinetic energy and how long will it take to cover the distance? Charge of proton, 1.602 times 10 to negative 19 coulomb. Mass of proton. 1.6725 times 10 to negative 27 colon bracket close. Thank you for listening. Have a pleasure day ahead.